Okay, so we've just uh, finished assembling our candy turkey here. Um, and the next and final step of this project is to make some drawing sheets or blueprints. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to the plus sign here and we're gonna start a drawing. We'll go to create drawing right here. Make sure that you're finding the correct title block. Uh, the one that we're using for uh, engineering is the IED title block. All right, so we have our title block here. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and speed the video up a little bit in order to enter in some of the information on the bottom. Okay, so over here, uh, we're gonna open up our browser and our first uh, sheet is gonna be our cover page. So go ahead and rename it cover page just so we can keep track of the different pages that we have here. Let's insert using the insert view tool. Let's insert the assembly on our cover page. So we'll have to come over here, click on assemblies and there is our assembly that we have in our document. We'll click on it and then I'm gonna hit escape. All right, so once we have our front view here, we actually want our, uh, we wanna do a projected view, we wanted to do a 3D view. So we're gonna click projected view and we're gonna click on our front view and off of it, we're going to get our three dimensional view. Perfect. So once we have that, uh, I'm gonna hit escape here. I'm gonna click on my uh, front view and hit backspace or delete. Now, I like this uh, front view or this uh, isometric view, but I think what we wanna do is make it a little bit bigger and also add color to it. So we're gonna right click on it and we're gonna say show shaded. That'll give us the color. And then we'll double click on it and we'll have to, we're gonna change the scale. So this is actually the one-to-one -one scale. This is the actual scale of the turkey. If you put it on your paper, it would look about that size. Let's bump this up a little bit. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Maybe we could try two to one to make, and that looks a lot better. I like that a lot better. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit the green check. We're gonna kind of move it where we want it to go. Down here, we have this, uh, it says scale of two to one. So it, we might need to change it down here. Make this two to one, just type that in. And uh, now we just have to put in a title. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna move the turkey over here to give us some space for a kind of a, a label here. So we're gonna do the um, put a, a title. So we'll say thanks giving Put your name and school. Okay, so if we do this, that's nice and everything, but you know, it would be better if it was like sort of centered and also a little bit bigger. So let's double click on it again. Uh, let's try to highlight the text. And then we're going to center it. We're also going to make it nice and big. Let's actually make it like 0.3. Oh, that's much better. And we'll hit the green check. Uh, we need to kind of center this a little bit. Looks like I missed something here. Just fix that. There we go. So one way to kind of get it centered where we want it is to sort of put it like in a corner. Uh, and then we can adjust we double click on it, we can adjust the width of it. You know, we can move it where we want it to go. I think this looks pretty good. There we go. So that's the cover page. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to the uh, browser here and we're going to add a new sheet and we're gonna rename it assembly. Okay, so for our assembly, we're once again going to insert the turkey assembly. Let's try keeping it at the one-to-one. -one. We'll see if this is the right size in a second. Um, and I think what I want to do is, you know what, I think we're going to have to make this maybe a little bit, well, maybe that's the right size. Let's put it this in the corner like this. 
We're going to project off of it using the project tool right here. We're going to get a top view and we'll also get a side view off of it as well. So we'll click on it again with our project tool on and we'll get a side view like that. And then finally, we want a isometric view. So we'll click on it and we'll put the isometric view over here. That looks pretty good. We just need to kind of move these around to center them a little bit. Move this kind of this way. That should go with it. And then this guy maybe over here. Let's make the isometric view in color, just like that. Now we have the cover page and we have a um, an assembly page. So the last step is to go ahead and make a page for each of the individual parts. So uh, we have a bunch of parts that um, are in here. We have the cookie, the cream filling, candy corn. I'm looking down here at the bottom. Um, all of these part studios are a separate part and we need to uh, put them on their own sheet. So I'm gonna do two of them uh, in real time and then I'll speed it up for the rest of them. So here is the first one. I think I'm gonna do the Oreo cookie first. Rename this. And then I'll go ahead and insert the Oreo cookie, which is right here. So we'll go ahead and put the front view right here. Good. And then from that, you see that the project tool is actually already highlighted. So we'll project the top view and click on it with the project tool highlighted. We'll also project the side view. And then finally, with the project tool still highlighted, we'll click and we'll project the three-dimensional view. All right, that's looking pretty good. Um, one thing that we might want to do, we can look on this, we can see well, what would happen if we made the scale bigger? What if we went to a two to one scale? And I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, you know what, this actually might be the best scale for this. So we're going to go ahead and click the green check. See how it fills the page a little bit more? That's kind of what we're looking for here. That looks good. If you don't like the fact that it says scale two to one a bunch, a bunch of times, you can just delete these. And then just change it down here so that we know that it's the correct scale. Two to one. You're gonna have to make a decision on each one which scale you want. We'll go ahead and show the, sh uh, the colors, the shaded on the 3D view like that. And actually let's do one more thing. Let's put this over here. It's kind of nice because now the multi-view portion is together and then the 3D version's over here. Okay, the next one I want to do is, I guess the kind of the tricky one here, it's the candy corn. So if we look at the candy corn, uh, what's tricky about it is that the way that it was modeled is we have three different parts in one part studio. So if we tried to do this um, like we did with the Oreo, it gets a little messy and I'll show you. This is gonna be our candy corn. If we tried to insert the candy corn the way it is, you can kind of see here how there are three different parts, right? So you'd need to put them in and model them, or I'll put them on your drawing three times and it won't look right. So, you know, we could put the top of the candy corn in and there it is, there's the top. It'll pop up in a second, maybe. Up oh, there it is, right? So there's the top of it, where's the rest of it, you know? So the way to, to fix this is to not insert them in as parts, but actually make a quick assembly. All right, so down here, we'll hit the plus sign. We'll click on create assembly. And we're gonna rename this candy corn assembly. We'll put this next to our candy corn. And you can see how we have the three parts, one, two, and three. Let's go ahead and throw those into the assembly. We're gonna insert, doesn't matter which one we insert first, but here's our candy corn. We have three parts right here. Let's start with the first part. We'll put it here, we'll hit the green check and let's fix this one. Okay, and then let's insert the other two now. There's the bottom, there's the middle. 
And we're going to use a fastened mate. So we'll click on this. We'll find, we'll hover over the middle of our candy corn. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is, yeah, just pick on the middle of it. Come on. Let's try that one more time. There it is. Okay. And then we'll click underneath here. We'll hover underneath and we'll find the middle of this one. That looks good. Okay. There's our first fascinate. We'll do the same thing down here. Let's do another one. We're going to hover in the middle and make sure that we are in the center of our plane. And then we'll come back up to the top of our bottom here. That's good. And then we've gone ahead and we've done a quick assembly of the candy corn. That looks good. So now that we've assembled it, we can now put it in our, our, uh, our blueprints. So we'll come back over to our drawing, our set of drawings. Make sure that you're on your candy corn sheet. And then we'll go ahead and hit insert view. We have to go to, we don't want the turkey. And it's actually, we're not going to pick on this candy corn. These are the parts, right? So we want to make sure that we click on assemblies over here. There's our candy corn assembly. Pick that. And let's see, there's a little preview here, but this preview is too small. We're at a one to one scale. We need to bump this up, maybe even to like two to one or three to one. So we'll come down here where we even put it in. Ooh, three to one looks good. So let's put that in as three to one. And oh, there we go. It went ahead and put it on our drawing sheet. So we just need to do the same thing as before. We'll do a projected view of this assembly. There's the top. We're going to use the projected view tool to make the side view. And then we'll make a three dimensional isometric view over here. That looks pretty good. Oop, I do know what that. And we'll just kind of move them so they look good. Let's move this one over here, perhaps. Let's see if we can get it perfect. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so let's just go ahead and sh show shaded. And there we go. We have our candy corn on our drawing sheet. So I'm going to go ahead right now. I have a few other ones to put on their own page. I'm going to do them, but do them in a very, I'll speed up the video. All right, so that went pretty fast, but um, for the three that I just did, I just did the cream filling, peanut butter cup, and Hershey Kiss. You follow the same general um, kind of instructions for the cookie that we did a little bit earlier. So um, one other thing, you know what? I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move my cream filling up uh, a little bit so that that way um, it's before the cream, it's after the Oreo cookie, because that kind of makes sense to me. So I'm gonna move it up like this. And then now, uh, I think it's in the order that I want. I can flip from one to the other, to the other if I want to. And I think this is perfect. I think this is how I want it. So the final step is just to uh, make a PDF that you can turn in. Um, so I'm gonna come over to uh, up here, I believe. And it says print. So what it, what it does is it actually makes a PDF for you. Um, and you can actually download the PDF using this button right here. And then once you download the PDF, if you're on a Chromebook or a PC, you download it to your downloads, name it, you know, uh, turkey cookie drawing sheets, something like that. And then you can go ahead and turn in that PDF onto Google Classroom. And that's it. That's the Thanksgiving tur turkey cookie project, all the way from drawing all the parts, assembling, and then making some working drawings or blueprints.